Yeah, hello, my name's Tom Butterworth. I work for Natural England um, and I lead uh, the green infrastructure work for Natural England. Yeah, we've got very good evidence actually now. We've got evidence that uh, green infrastructure can play a key role in improving air quality, uh, decreasing surface water runoff, um, uh, providing great places for people to be improving their health and well-being, improving social cohesion, and all of these have economic impacts. Um, and, and we've got some very good evidence now on our website uh, that links, that makes clear links between those uh, uh, those services provided by the environment, by the green infrastructure, and the uh, the economics behind that. And not only that, but we can actually start to, we've got evidence now that starts to uh, underpin uh, our understanding of how these green spaces support economic growth as well, showing that they catalyse economic growth through uh, decreasing costs um, for you know, environmental uh, protection, for improving um, uh, health benefits and so on, uh, as well as uh, creating jobs and encouraging inward investment. So, so yeah, we've got evidence at a range of scales. We've got some really lovely examples of where these two are coming together, um, both in this country and, and from elsewhere in the world. Um, we've got great study in New York looking at both grey and green infrastructure and looking at how they can decrease surface water fl uh, runoff uh, in New York. Um, and that study looked at uh, grey um, infrastructure and green infrastructure and looked at the combination of the two and it found the combination of the two was the most cost effective, saving uh, 1.5 billion pa uh, dollars over the grey only. Um, in this country we've got really lovely studies showing that um, uh, in the Victoria Business Improvement District um, here in London we've got great studies showing that the, the green uh, roofs uh, and the green walls will improve air quality, will decrease uh, flooding um, and will cool the environment as well, uh, decreasing the heat island effect, so making the place nicer to be in. Um, and this, so, so we've got not only good examples but this is being put into practice now as well um, and being paid for by a whole range of organisations from businesses to uh, local authorities um, and being designed by the local community as well which is even better. That green infrastructure can't happen without the grey infrastructure. Yes we can't have a green wall or a green roof without the grey infrastructure there so the two have to come together but what that also does is that decreases the pressure on the rest of the grey infrastructure like the, uh, the drainage systems and so on so that we can uh, make the most out of both of these systems.